probably more good drama now, or feels like there's more good drama now than there has been for a long, long time. Um, I, I, I tend to think, yes, potentially there is too much, but at the moment, you know, there seems to be a pretty insatiable appetite from international you know, buyers and you know, new markets, particularly the OTT space, whether it be Netflix or the Amazons or, you know, or, 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 or domestic local OTT services for scripted shows. Um, and again, they seem to be channel defining for those foreign broadcasters as well. And I guess the truth is the best of them and the good of them will, the best of those shows will always find a, an audience and a home. Um, you know, the, the, the danger is, I suppose, that you know, there's a lot of, or a few, or a number of slightly substandard shows coming through. And I think one of the interesting things is, is you know, the real globalization of that scripted area. You know, a show from Sweden, whether in remake or original form, can find an audience, you know, globally, you know, as quickly and as rapidly, perhaps, as, as, as a, you know, traditional American studio show. Thank you.